Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. So unfortunately it looks like the refreshes of the M2 Pro and the M2 Max chip in the MacBook Pro lineup has been delayed. Now of course, nothing can actually be delayed unless it's been announced first, but it was heavily rumored that these refreshes would come out in November this year. And it was heavily suggested by writer Mark Gurman that this release would happen in November. However, in an updated post released today, Mark Gurman reframed his prediction and said that the actual release is going to be between the end of 2022 and early 2023. And so he wouldn't consider a March release of 2023 to be late by any means. And this seems to be confirmed by the CEO Tim Cook himself, who in the latest earning call said, as we approach the holiday season with our product line upset. So this suggests there are going to be no more Apple products released this year. And also Luca Maestri, Apple's chief financial officer, also mentions that we expect Mac revenue to decline substantially year over year during the December quarter. If any new Macs were going to be released before the end of 2022, then this sentence definitely would not be true. You'd definitely be expecting a large increase in revenue if a new product release were to happen. Furthermore, there are rumors that Apple has given TSMC a large order to produce its M2 Pro, M2 Max and future SoCs using the 3 nanometer process. So this potentially means that the M2 Pro and M2 Max chips could be substantially faster than the base M2 Pro that was released in the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro this year, which is based on a 5 nanometer process. And therefore any chips based on a new 3 nanometer process could be a substantial improvement in performance. And furthermore, there are rumors that the M2 Ultra and the M2 Extreme are also going to be released with the launch of the first Apple Silicon Mac Pro. This would potentially miss Apple's self-imposed two-year transition from Intel chips to Apple Silicon hardware. However, this new Mac Pro is rumored to have between 24 and 48 CPU cores and between 76 and 152 GPU cores, as well as up to 256 gigabytes of memory, which is going to make it a pretty beefy machine. So anyway, it looks like we're going to be waiting until March 2023 until the new MacBook Pros with the M2 Pro and M2 Max chips are released. So I definitely think that the MacBook Pro refreshes are the most exciting for the Apple Silicon hardware lineup. However, I'm not too disappointed by the fact that this is not going to be released this year. I'm still rocking my MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Max chip and it is perfectly fine for my current needs. In fact, I'd probably be very happy with something that runs slower. I don't really have a need for faster hardware at the moment, but I'll be really interested in seeing if a 3 nanometer process will be able to make the M2 Pro and M2 Max chips faster and also offer better price to performance ratios. And it'll be really interesting to see what kind of gaming performance is going to be possible on them. So now let me know in the comments if you're disappointed or if you don't think it really matters that much. Are Apple Silicon chips too fast? Do they need to come down in price? Are they too expensive? Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.